times real, this woman needs trill. Three, three times real, this woman needs trill. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Anthony Joshua. Uh, there have been reports and articles and even interviews where they said Anthony Joshua was tempted to vacate the WBO title and not fight Alexander Usyk. Last night, Eddie Hearn was interviewed, and he said it's looking like they will fight Usyk, although they are entertaining other opponents at this particular point in time because they don't like the fact that the WBO is trying to dictate to them who they have to fight next. And so I'm going to turn this over to Trill Dollar Bill. What's your thoughts on uh, Eddie Hearn's comments and AJ not liking the WBO, telling them who to fight next? Do you think... He should take another fight, or do you think he should just comply with the WBO? How do you feel about the situation? Um, I think it's just a little bit of frustration on both parts, on Eddie's part and Anthony Joshua's part. You know why? Uh, because of the whole Fury thing, I, I believe. I just think um, give him time. Right now, they were trying to make that fight happen. I guess he, he really wanted, you know, AJ always say he really wanted undisputed, wanted to be undisputed. You know what I'm saying? I think right now he's just frustrated. He's, he's not really thinking clearly right now. Give him some time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe, and, and but, but true, you know, he's the champion. He don't want to feel like, you know, he and he feel like he's, since Undisputed can't happen, he don't even care about the belts no more. It's probably <laughs> That's probably how he's feeling. Um, but just give him some time. You know what I'm saying? Give him some time. Um, I don't know. The champ can do whatever he want to do. You know, he's getting to that point where he tried to make this happen. Eddie tried to make this fight happen. You know, AJ probably feel like he's bigger than the belts. He is to me, you know what I'm saying, the second biggest uh, boxing star. You know, number one is uh, Saul. In, in my book, this is my opinion. And I think number two is AJ. But um, it's to the point where does he really need these belts? I know that was a goal of his to be undisputed, but does he really need these belts to get bread? I absolutely don't think he does. Um, but I know that was a goal of his. Um, just give him some time. I think it's just everybody's just a little bit heated and a little bit frustrated and tired from all the drama and mess that went on with the um, whole Tyson Fury situation. But when that dies down, I'm sure cooler heads will prevail and Anthony Joshua will make a decision that will benefit him. Well, he thinks it will benefit him. All right, Conspirator G. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm actually confused about this because uh, for the longest of what I've been hearing from Anthony Joshua is he wants to be undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. So now that the WBO is ordering you to fight Usyk, which you kind of knew already because you knew he was in mandatory for like the past two fights, you know, like you've been paying him step aside money. So what you think the WBO was going to do now that, you know, uh, that undisputed fight is not happening. Clearly they're going to make be like, hey, you got to fight Usyk now. Right, so I'm. Um, I kind of feel like Anthony uh, Anthony Joshua's acting too entitled. If he really is upset by the WBO yeah. ordering this fight, you know what I mean? Because I'm like, bro, that's what they do. Like, I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm trying to understand why he's shocked at the fact that they're ordering him to fight Usyk when he knows he was supposed to fight Usyk anyway. I don't think he said he's shocked. He doesn't like it. He doesn't. Well, either which way, he just doesn't like it. I don't understand why you don't like it when he's your mandatory. You know, like. Uh, and now this kind of goes like if they're saying, well, he's not going to he's not going to generate as much money racing on Usyk. I could kind of understand that. But however, yo, you losing that WBO belt to me is a problem because it's like it never was about the money for AJ. He makes huge money regardless with or without the belt. But this is about, you know, putting your name amongst the greats in history undisputed that's a great accomplishment you know and so um that's why i'm i'm just confused by aj because i kind of feel like he's almost flip-flopping in my eyes because for the longest it's been undisputed 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 now he's like yo i'll give up this wbo belt i don't need this 
because I don't I don't feel like I need to fight Usyk. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm just confused, man. I, it just it's doesn't. Frustration. It, that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I kind of agree with you. Maybe he's just so frustrated at the moment. But it almost seems diva-ish almost. It's like, you, how dare you order me to fight my mandatory? Nah, he fights his mandatory. He fights his mandatory. What's the difference between a... Oh, Uzi man. Oh, you know, another, robbed, bro. Oh, and this is another thing. I honestly believe in my heart of hearts, AJ's going to punish Usyk. Bro, I'm being honest, man. When I watched Usyk versus Chisora, I was like, AJ, this is food, bro. This is Ukrainian food, man. This is Ukrainian soup. <laughs> oh, man, like, I'm telling you, <laughs> damage on this man. Like, why not? And it's an easy thing to market. Bro. <laughs> uh, I'm a champion fighting up against Anthony. Uh, <laughs> yo, people going to watch that fight, man. Like, I, I, I don't uh, in the UK. I believe that's going to sell. Oh, God. I'm just saying, man. I don't understand AJ right now, bro. I'm be honest. And I, I'm just confused. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm confused. <laughs> and then, <laughs> <laughs> this is, yo, he was he was doing good. Yeah, he was doing good. He was doing good. He was trying to violate AJ, bro. It's crazy, bro. I'm not, yo, listen, I like AJ for real. I do. Yo, yeah, we don't put him You like Uzi too, right? You like Uzi too, right? right? I like you. You doing good to the Ukrainian bro. Yo, he is straight through grenades at AJ, and he do he do Usyk in there for no reason. He do under the bus for no reason. He just do Usyk in there for no reason. Oh, go ahead, man. Oh man, uh, no, nah, I see. Like it's it's just, it's the moment right now. Like a big fight was just on the table, and then everything just got thrown out the window. I would be like a little frustrated with my with 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 everyone right now like it's like yo don't tell me what i have to do next things of that nature you know so i understand what aj aj i don't know i i, I don't know what if there was an interview or anything but if aj if aj's feeling this way he has the right to feel this way you know it's like he has all his ducks in a row and everybody else is um is not um doing their part and now when it comes to like like the WO, yeah, he, he, we knew he, um, he had to fight Usyk, but the WO, like, oh, you have to fight him. Like, AJ don't, AJ's like, I don't need this belt. And if he, AJ wanted back, I'm pretty sure AJ could get the belt back easy, like, at some late, later point in, in, in whenever, like, because it's, it's right there. If it's going to go to Usyk, Usyk's in the same stable, whatever. But at this point, I understand, like, Undisputed is right there in front of your eyes. And then, they blew it. They blew it. And I would be hella mad as well. And now, you know, G, I don't think it's diva antics. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just the moment. The moment. It's just the moment, bro. I know. And you, you wasn't saying nothing when your man was acting like a diva. You didn't call him none of that. But, you know, watch your mouth, G. I, I did. I did. I <laughs> Whatever, G. Yo, well, your man, whatever, G. AJ is nothing like it. It's just the moment. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to start off by saying I would love to see the WBO go back to not counting towards Undisputed. I don't know why they made the WBO a belt that you need to become undisputed. It's done nothing but cause more issues and more drama and make undisputed even harder to maintain because not only do you have three sanctioning bodies giving you mandatories, you added a fourth, which makes it practically impossible for someone to be undisputed champion. And when you unify, these sanctioning bodies don't want to work together to make one person the mandatory for everyone <clears throat> because it's to their benefits to have the belt spread around. So with that being said, I would love to see the WBO not count. It was the last belt to uh, be recognized and there have been undisputed champions in the history of boxing that never held that belt. So it's really like, you know, you just decided because you wanted to make everyone get a belt that you're going to make that belt recognized as one of the titles that's needed for undisputed with that being said i think that's part of the reason why anthony josh was upset now you look at 
when it was a possibility that the Usyk fight was going to hold up undisputed because it, it, D Dillian White had lost to Alexander Povetkin, which took away his mandatory shot. Um, and Deontay Wilder and the contract issue with it expiring. And then the biggest hiccup was Alexander Usyk. And I remember us like, yo, WBO, let Anthony Joshua fight Tyson Fury. Like, what are you doing? Whatever. So then I guess the pressure made them step aside and say, you know what? We're going to allow Anthony Joshua to fight for Undisputed. But then again, the other situation happened that ruined Undisputed. And before they even knew whether or not they could salvage Undisputed, the WBO was talking about, oh, you got to fight Usyk now. And if you're Anthony Joshua, you're thinking to yourself like, bro, your belt is a joke in itself. Like, I make your belt. Your belt doesn't make me. The greatest champions in the history of boxing did not pose with that stupid WBO belt around their waist. Go pull up the picture of Mike Tyson. Does he have it? No. This is what I'm saying. Like, they act like their belt is some great prize. And if you're Anthony Joshua, you're feeling like, yo, I'm really sick of these guys trying to tell me what to do. They were going to make it hard for me to have undisputed with Tyson Fury. Then it falls through. Then they're automatically telling me, now I got to fight Usyk. They don't come to me and say, well, what would you like to do? Maybe he would like to fight Andy Ruiz in the trilogy. Maybe that's a way for him to make a lot more money because Ruiz just got with Reynoso. He just got through Chris Ariola. Maybe he feels like, let me fight Andy Ruiz and make some money and make a mega fight. How come you can't let me do that? What about Dillian White? Dillian White is in line to be the mandatory for the WBC. Why not let me fight him for that status so that way I can guarantee myself a shot at Undisputed? Why not let me do that? In his mind, he's thinking, these dudes want to tell me who to fight, when to fight, when is it going to end? So for him, he's thinking like, you know what? F the belts. And it's not a flip-flop, G. You know why it's not a flip-flop, G? I'm going to tell you why it's not a flip-flop. Okay. You ever been in a position where you wanted something, like a job, for example, or uh, uh, you, you, you courted a, a woman that you like? Once you get the job or once you get involved with the woman, you realize this is not what I thought <laughs> it was going to be. <laughs> so you leave the job and you leave the woman. AJ has held, held those belts now. Remember, AJ has held those belts, lost those belts, and then got them again. So he's in a position now where maybe it's not that he's flip-flopping, but he's realizing this isn't all it's cracked up to be. Like, I'll let the belt go. I'll let your little WBO belt go. I'll still have the WBA. I'll still have the IBF. You can email it to Usyk if you want to. Right? Email it to Usyk if you want to. I still go on and make all the big fights. I'm still going to get paid. So you can call it diva behavior, but at the end, nobody likes being dictated to in that way. And these dudes aren't even talking to him. They're not even including him. They're just like, yo, you got to fight Usyk in two weeks. Oh, we're going to do this. And he's like, who are you to tell me what to do in my career? You are a sanctioning body. You only control the belt. You don't control me. And then it gets to a point where, like Canelo, I remember Canelo got rid of them belts and said, F them damn belts. I'm bigger than the belts. You make someone like Anthony Joshua say, what you going to do when I don't do what you want me to do? And I'm going to force you to really strip me and show what you're going to do then. Because, see, people act like the WBO actually was like, oh, yeah, we're going to let AJ fight Fury. No, AJ was going to fight Fury with or without that belt. And they knew that they wanted to be a part of it because their belt already don't get the respect like that. So let me see. OK, so AJ's going to fight Fury to IBF. The WBA and the WBC is going to be on the line. The winner of that fight is going to take pictures with the belts that all really matter. They're the belts that already matter. And guess what belt's going to be missing? The belts that oh, the belt that's always been missing, the WBO. So it was in their best interest to allow the winner of Undisputed 
or the winner of the Fury Joshua fight to be for Undisputed so that their belt can be seen in a photograph with the winner for credibility purposes. Even right now, you got TC holding their WBO belt and you got these other guys fighting for all the other belts on the outside looking in, that ugly belt, right? Even right now, you got Demetrius Andre holding a WBO belt and he's the one on the outside looking in. Their belt's just struggling for respect. The only person who gives their belt respect is Anthony Joshua and you treat him like that. Man, he should dump that belt. He should Riddick, he should Riddick Bow that belt. That's what he should do. And that's why Riddick Bow got rid of it. Everyone says, like, oh, he's afraid of Lennox Lewis. Look, I'm not going to say I'm in a man's body and that I know whether or not he was afraid and, and this and that. Here's all I know, though. If you tell me I got two weeks to make a fight with Trill, and if I can't make the fight happen with Trill, you're going to give Trill the belt. And I give Trill all these offers, and he keeps rejecting it. At the end of the two weeks, you're just going to give him the belt anyway. I did my best to make the fight. So what am I going to do? I'm going to tell you, come get your stupid belt. I'm going to throw it in the trash. And then you can give it to Trill. You put no pressure on Trill to make the fight. You never said, okay, Caden and Trill, you both got to make the fight in two weeks, or neither one of you is going to get the belt. It's in Trill's best interest to never fight me. Fight the belt anyway. So that's why I don't understand when people talk about, oh, Riddick Bowe do the belt in the trash not to fight Lewis. Not exactly. Look it up for yourself. Again, Google it. This what I was like. Google it. Lennox had no detriment. He was only going to benefit from the fight not being made. The only person who wouldn't have benefited from the fight being made was Riddick because they were going to strip him and give the belt to Lennox. That's why he threw it in the trash. Now, I'm not saying that Riddick Bowe wasn't afraid or who was afraid or whatever, but I'm saying it's kind of messed up when you only put the pressure on one person. And that's what AJ's feeling right now. AJ's feeling like, yo, I'm sick of y'all only putting the pressure on me. I'm sick of y'all only making me. Meanwhile, Fury can just enter a contract when he wants to, get out of it. Wilder can let a contract expire. It seems like the WBC is just letting anything happen with their belt, but the WBO want to be all up on his behind talking about, oh, you need to fight. You want to talk about diva behavior. Diva behavior is letting the contract expire. Then go on, and then and and then why would you even agree to arbitration if you're Fury side? Message. <laughs> why would you why would you even agree to that if you're Fury side? Message, right? You you kind of you 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 lot you you want it. You really want it to be that way. But but the bottom line is. The diva behavior in the heavyweight division isn't Anthony Joshua. Because so far, Anthony Joshua has offered uh, Deontay Wilder the most lucrative contract of his career, and he's done the same for Tyson Fury. So if anyone's a diva, it's not Anthony Joshua. He's just getting to the point where he understands after being with the shorty for a little while, after having the job for a little while, it's not all it's cracked up to be, and he's just ready to let it go, period. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Yeah, look at this I, I, out on Instagram and Twitter. I wanted to Come say on. that. I wanted to say that. <laughs> say, I, say it. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> Ned, the energy sent all that to me, Ned. <laughs> Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. Please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. You know who we are. It's the Boxing Bros. <laughs> You're welcome. You're all.